hospitals under pressure. Across the Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq. Stock markets plunging and unemployment numbers spiking. A quarter of the world's population staying at home, cut off from their normal lives. COVID-19 is a respiratory disease, but the global response could also be affecting people's mental health, especially those with existing conditions. Tom Voss is a U.S. Army veteran and mental health activist. A lot of men and women rely on, you know, support groups and different uh, mental health modalities where you physically have to go in and, and speak with someone. Um, so when these are, are taken off the table, um, it, it, it's really kind of concerning for me as as the United States is still looking at a, you know, 20 veteran a day uh, suicide rate. But it's not just people already in treatment. The World Health Organization is urging everybody to look after their mental health by cutting down on alcohol and smoking and getting some exercise. For those who are in treatment, experts say the key is getting creative. We are allowing clinicians to connect to their patients via phones, via devices like you and I are using right now to make sure that we can continue whatever treatment or type of approach that we need to help us. We don't want people to go without during this time because we know it's only going to make it worse if you don't have access to the type of care that can help you with your mental health. We were supposed to vote. For now, the world is focusing on how to stop the virus from spreading and keep economies going. Campaigners here in the U.S., though, are also calling on the Trump administration to boost funding for mental health services to deal with the long-term effects of this pandemic. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.